yin and the yang. Now, what would be better than having an AR-1522, you know, offset by John Lennon, right? It's a dichotomy of life kind of thing. So, um, yeah, we're going to talk about the Smith & Wesson M&P 1522, and this happens to be the uh, MOE version. So. All right, so let's make sure we do our uh, safety check first, obviously. So we drop the mag, and we'll charge it, nothing in there, we're, uh, we're good. Yeah, the Smith & Wesson M&P 1522, um, an AR-15 style 22. Uh, one of the things I really like about this, this is purpose built, so it is a from start to finish a 22 caliber. Um, it's not a conversion from a 223 or a, a 5.6, so you don't have all that you know rigmarole. It was built from the ground up to be a 22. So this is actually the MOE version. So it comes, uh, the MOE version comes with uh, the grip, it comes with the uh, buttstock, it also comes with the uh, flip up. MOE uh, iron sights, and then I went ahead and added the uh, the foregrip to it uh, myself uh, because I just I like that sense, that feel, that style. And then I threw a Bushnell uh, TRS 25 uh, on the top, a little optic, little red dot optic. And so you know, it just makes this an absolute riot. It just makes it a lot of fun. This is really a a, a fun AR-15. So one of the things I really like about what Smith and Wesson has done, again, it's a it's a purpose built, but it also has all of the identical controls on a traditional AR. In other words, the uh, safety is in exactly the same spot. Um, your charging handle's in the same place. Um, the release is in the same place, same place for the drag uh, mag drop. So it shares all the controls with a typical AR-15. So great training platform if you want to uh, train on this and then move up to uh, the big boy gun, uh, you certainly can. The other thing I like about it is, you know, it's got the uh, four rails, so you can put, you know, lights on it, you can put lasers on it, you can do whatever you want. Um, it is a full-size uh, barrel, goes all the way back through, so it's not fluted. Um, just overall, a really great, great AR-15. And so it takes down, uh, just like a regular AR-15 too, it not only shares the controls, but, you know, pop that pin out and... Uh, that breaks loose right there, and then uh, same thing here. Pop this pin through, and you've got your lower, and you've got your uh, upper. Oh, let me get a good grab on that. There we go. Now, what you'll see here is I've dropped a Timney trigger into it. And just to show you, the lower is identical to an AR-15. It is all polymer, but I was able to take a regular AR-15 Timney drop-in trigger kit. This is the 3.5 pound and drop it right in here as if I was dropping it into a full-size AR-15. So um, that's one of the things I didn't like so much about this. It's got the traditional, what I'll call military style trigger, which is you know pretty heavy and pretty dead. And so uh, through that upgrade on there, been very, very happy with it, would highly recommend it. Uh, definitely a good choice. But again, breaks down and cleans up just like uh, anything else will. Now it is a dedicated upper, so you cannot change out the uppers on it. Um, this comes apart, and you can tell, you know, obviously a very, very different bolt assembly, uh, 22 style bolt assembly, but uh, comes apart very easily, cleans really easily, and, but is, is proprietary. So um, if you're looking for a really good AR-15 training platform, or if you're looking for a, um, just a fun plinker, a 22, AR style gun that you can go shoot shoot the tar out of and make a plenty of uh, noise with, I'd go with this. I like it a lot. The MOE version, which is a little harder to get, but Smith & Wesson M&P 1522 MOE version. We're going to take this to the range and uh, we'll put some rounds through it and have a little fun too. Good?
That's not horrible. I'll take that. The Smith & Wesson M&P 1522, um, highly recommend it. You ought to get yourself one of these, but we'll check that out after we eat lunch. So, the Smith & Wesson M&P 1522 MOE version. Um, the other thing it's really good for is if you stand on your back deck or on the front porch with it in the air, nobody knows you don't have a real AR-15. So I'm a popular guy in the neighborhood because they know that when the zombies come or those doggone Canadians attack, I'm the first line of defense around here. So uh, really, really a fun shooter. Um, get yourself one if you can. The MOEs are a little tough to come by. Uh, it took me probably a couple months before I found one, but uh, it's well worth the wait. Thanks for stopping by Crucible Arms. We'll catch you next time.